So the purpose of this blog is to explain the situation faced by Mario Draghi at the ECB as of this moment. Uh, so far as I understand it, I'm showing only a portion of the ECB balance sheet, but a portion that doesn't get much discussion. I'm showing 400 billion euros of exposure to national central banks, and I'm showing 300 billion exposure to private banks. The first bit of this, the national central bank exposure, came from uh, when in one area in the ECB is making more payments than it receives, um, the central bank of that, er uh, of that area winds up running a deficit, and that's where this came from. And the corresponding surplus is accumulated by the central bank in the surplus region. Um, in this case, think of this as Germany. Note that I'm not showing any deposit consequence of this, um, so I'm implicitly assuming, which in fact was the case, that the German central bank sterilized all of these uh, increases by selling bonds, so there was no consequence for deposits. But I am showing on the deficit side that the Irish or Greek or whatever, so just think of that, um, was funding a loan. Um, with this uh, exposure. Now, what I think is going to happen, so this was the first stage, was this payments imbalance. The second stage, which is built up really just in the last few weeks, is the breakdown of interbank funding markets, which has led to banks lending and borrowing amongst each other um, through the intermediation of the European Central Bank. What I think seems to be about to happen now is that we're going to move the exposure of national central banks out into the open and put it onto the balance sheet of private banks in the following way. The ECB, instead of lending to the national central bank, will lend directly to the uh, local private banks, allowing the deficit national central banks to shrink their balance sheets. It will also be funding this by borrowing directly from the local banking system, allowing the German Central Bank to replace its lending to the ECB with holding of German bonds, which it originally had there that it sold off for sterilization. This seems to be about what is about to happen. None of it has happened yet. This is a big move, but it does very much embrace the lender of last resort function of the central bank in the European area. Um, really sort of for the first time, not just lending to central banks, but directly to the banking system and in size.